Hello and welcome back to Twitchy Charmander's gaming channel. I'm Twitchy Charmander and I'm going to be doing a short flash game called Collapse. Collapse! The end of society simulator. Um, so this Collapse game is actually in joint with Tom Clancy's Division, um, which is about the end of the world, something, something, virus, death, and no one's left. Um, so this is actually a simulation, scientifically based simulation, of If You Were Patient Zero. Scientific because I've got my lab coat on, scientist is always fine, and my hair up so we'll do lots of experimenting. Um, so this is based on Google Maps, it's based on all these stats, but I want to know if it's actually scientifically accurate. So, let's start with a random town. I can't give you where I live. Um, let's think on this. I really wanted to do some sort of town in the middle of nowhere, but we won't do that just yet. Um, so let's start in the capital, just for good fun. Washington, D.C. Okay. So I'm patient zero. I'm apparently living in the middle of Washington, D.C. And, uh, what is the orange done? Day one. You are at home. You suddenly feel feverish and you decide to go to the hospital. Let me be honest with you. As someone who doesn't really have good health insurance, um, I would probably just NyQuil it up and sleep for a week, but, <sighs> well, we'll go to a hospital. What's nearby? Let's take a look. Uh, George Washington University, Howard University, Buckley, oh, Kaiser Permanente, uh, Children's Hospital. That would be cruel, just run in and uh, destroy all the children's days. Uh, ooh, Veterans Affairs. Yep. I'd get everyone infected real quick. Let's go to Providence Hospital. I don't know where that is, but we'll check it out. So I'm over here now. I'm on my way to Providence Hospital and I infect 22 other people. Paramedics are regularly, or eh, per paramedics are particularly exposed to the virus and they are quickly infected as well. Going from one department to another, they spread the disease to other hospitals. Um, okay, so this assumes that uh, hot, uh, EMTs just ride in and show up at the hospitals are at. Fine, I get that. I was the understanding that you were employed by hospitals, so you're there preferably. Um, there are on average 30 hospital beds per 1,000 inhabitants. In times of crisis, your chance of getting one is almost non-existent. Okay, so I guess I assume that I didn't get hospital bed. Oh my goodness, we're already up to, we're up to five, nearly 500 infected. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, I, I don't get a hospital bed, I guess. There's nearby hospitals, okay, we can see the, the spread out from this hospital and see it. We're already at 46,000, okay. The infection is spreading fast, and hospitals are now overcrowded. You are discharged with a prescription for a flu shot. I need to go to the pharmacy. Okay. That's not how flu shots work. If I'm already showing symptoms of a flu-like thing, injecting me with more of the virus isn't going to help. This is... Flu shots are preventative. D uh, this is faulty information. I would never be given a prescription for a flu shot if I was showing any symptoms related to fever or flu. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I did get this game from a science website, so... Anyway, it takes at least six weeks for a batch of medication to reach pharmacy shelves. The consequences of a shortfall during a pandemic would be dramatic. Okay, I get that. I understand. That's what would happen. Um, I guess I'll pick a pharmacy. CVS, Safeway, CVS. <sighs> Just a regular CVS. Let's see. We're up to day five. I go, whoa, all the way over here. All the way over here. 44,000. Infected people? Oh, come on. 
Because of the dangerously increasing number of infected people, the authorities are organizing vaccine distributions. You decide to go to the nearest venue. Why would I do that? I'm already sick. I don't get it. So, assuming that all the people that I've been around are healthy, I would probably be the one telling them to go to the venue because this is the people that it would actually help. If you're sick already, don't do this. It will make it worse. <sighs> Just no. But anyway, we are only capable of producing 2.4 billion flu vaccines for you. Mm. It's not applicable to this situation. Um, we would need an antibiotic or something like that. Uh, nothing can kill viruses, so I don't think we could use an antiviral unless we knew specifically what it was for. Um, anyway, experts estimate that such a virus could spread to all 7 billion humans in just a few months. Like I said, we have antivirals. Um, it's going to be difficult to purse which one would work in this situation, but in our pill-popping society, I'm sure anyone that had access to it would be like popping them left and right just to make sure they were fine. Um, Okay, so I go to the nearest venue. New Playwrights Theater, Studio Theater, Source, Mount Vernon Theater. Why would you Why would you be handing them out at a venue? Why would you be putting all the people that are sick in one place? Unless they're going to gas us, which I wouldn't put past the government. I mean, hi! Hi, whoever's got my phone line tapped. Okay. Thousands of people are frightened in a mask near the distribution point. There aren't enough vaccines for everyone in the Mount Vernon theater area. Police forced to intervene as the situation is heating up. Okay. We are at day seven. Um, our death count is 96,000 plus. Okay. The virus has taken its first victims. And people are starting to die. That happens. The state of emergency has been declared. So we're at 3,000 deaths. Now the first death. Oh, deaths per hour? Mm, okay. You decide to go to the supermarket to buy enough food so you can barricade yourself in. Depending on the season, I really don't think this would help if there, if there was any snow at all this supermarkets would be gone. Barren. Um, I mean, if I had started this in Baltimore, this would have been a mess. Uh, the average household only stocks a maximum of three days worth of food provisions. I also wonder if they take into consideration Amazon Prime. If I just start ordering mass amounts of food for no reason, it'll show up at my door. Um, they'd be prepackaged so that in case the workers are sick, it wouldn't get to me. But also at this point, I'm sick, so it doesn't matter. How? So if people all around me are dying and I'm patient zero, how am I not dead already? I'm the first one who showed symptoms. I would be the first person to not be treated. Well, the treatment wouldn't be working. They would be documenting that. Uh, I'd be dead um, if there are other people around me that were infected and also dead already. I'll pick a supermarket. Capital supermarket, metro supermarket, Glen. Let's just go to good old Trader Joe's. Get all the people that don't believe in vaccines out there. Looting starts to take place. Who's being stolen? The most stolen iron treasures empties and police try to take control of the situation. God, they show them so quickly. After emptying food supplies, looters are raiding banks for cash. Most ATMs are now out of order. I got that one. Man, that's a lot. Riots are breaking out. Police forces are outnumbered in 7th and North Park area. The streets are ablaze! As we are in the nation's capital, I don't think the city would ever get to be no longer safe unless they are raiding the White House um, and everyone stationed around there. Uh, I guess around the White House we would well, be done for because I think they have focused elsewhere. I have to escape. From Washington National, you decide to take a flight to another international destination. Why? 
So with more than 8 million passengers a day, planes are the main catalyst of infection. So why would I do this? Especially if I just went down further south where everyone's got lots of guns. I mean, we're down in way down a little bit, not even that far down. Into Virginia, everyone's barricaded for the apocalypse. Um, armed to the teeth, generally. Uh, maybe I'd just go there. Uh, I don't really know why I'd get on a plane. I also don't know how I'm alive, but that's fine. Um, where should we go? Hmm, should I stay in the U.S. or should I go elsewhere? Well, it doesn't matter where I go, I guess. The virus is going to hang out in whatever airport. Um, well, spread from airport to airport. Um, and go on forever. So, what if I pick some place right next to right close to me and try and keep it contained. So I'm up to day, to day nine. Uh, maybe I can get this... I mean, it's inevitable that everyone's going to die, but maybe I can... Maybe I can get us to 30 days if I stay really close by. Okay. Right. Team in Jacksonville, Jasper. Damn. Damn. Stupid international airports. See, I don't know why I didn't just hop in a car and go to the bottom of Virginia. Day 11. Flights accelerate the speed of infection. Yes, I figured that out. And many countries choose to close their borders. Oh man, if this was pandemic. If this was pandemic, I would have just gone straight to Madagascar. Martial law is established as lootings and riots are now a global phenomenon. The official death toll reaches 75,503 people. Huh, I guess I'm pretty sure that's a, a nation um, somewhere. In 2013, there were 27,206,623 <coughs> military personnel in the world. That's only 3.8 soldiers. <laughs> Who's the sad pouring point eight soldier uh, per 1,000 civilians? I mean, that wouldn't really do as much good um, unless they were immune to this illness. Um, but I guess for peacekeeping purposes, I understand why this fact is here. The situation is out of control. Law enforcement is completely overwhelmed. Soldiers have are seen abandoning their positions. Well, that would have been great to tell me beforehand. Afraid of getting killed, people stayed home with no one to maintain the infrastructure. Mm. I'm going to guess wireless is gone. Chaos is everywhere. Work absenteeism now exceeds 50%. The first nu nuclear power plants have stopped running. Oh. A nuclear power plant can run for two days without human intervention. Then it automatically ceases to work. Well, that's good, I guess. I mean, we won't nuke ourselves by accident by just leaving the thing unattended. We won't pull a Homer Simpson, I guess. But I guess that's bad for the world because we wouldn't have power. I guess that's the point of th this exercise. Um, okay. And we lose power. Mm. All right. Hold on. Aw, oh, man. The world is plunged into darkness. Without energy nor communication systems, the chain of command is broken. Governments are powerless. I would have said that happened around when the looting started, but sure. Twenty five days. Okay. So that's what I get for picking a largely populated area to start in. Mm. So I guess our goal is to keep the longest time to prevent the world from collapsing. I don't like this. It's sad. Um, 
I'm going to try one more time in a city that I can look up that is pretty remote. Let's try that. Maybe a city in Alaska. Okay. I have looked up Sitka, Alaska. So that's what we're going to do and hope to God that all of the cold freezes the smallpox virus. Sitka. There we go. Sitka, Alaska. United States. Look at it. Look at Google. It's trying. Oh, do I have to hit okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, did I break the game? Uh-oh. Too remote even for Google. Maybe if I reload. Okay. Let's try Sitka, Alaska again. Maybe one of the more populated cities of Alaska. Juno? Okay. You just don't want to do an Alaskan city? Come on, Tom Clancy's division. This is really mean. What if people wanted to type their home address as Alaska? Mm, I really want to do it. Hang on. If I get it to work, that's what we're doing. Let's try a real address. Link is it can. Let's go. Go! Come on! Supposed to be realistic. People get sick there too. Ugh. Way to go, Google. Um, let's see if I can put, if I can put in the old one again. We know it's just bugged. Nope. What the hell, Tom Clancy's division? What the hell? That was just no. That's rude. It's rude to leave out really remote cities. It's rude to leave out any city. So let's try another one that isn't in the U.S. Because this game seems to be more geared toward international, I'm going to try uh, a city in Iceland. Um, random Google search found... Heh. <laughs> Hella Iceland. Seems simple and with the least amount of accents and umlauts. So, Hella. Iceland? Yeah. Okay! Success! I'm not really sure if it's that populated. It just kind of did a Google search for somewhere. International, it's cold. Iceland, pretty good guess. Um, your home, sudden unbearable pain. Oh, this is new. Oh, I don't have a choice. I thought I had... I thought I presented with a fever the first time. Your home, a sudden unbearable pain causes you to faint. Emergency medical services takes you directly to Lanspitali Klepi Rijavik. Good to know that um, Iceland's emergency services pick me right up. And I don't have choice. And maybe this is a cultural thing. Um, maybe this is what causes people to go to the hospital most often? I don't know. Because a fever pain and fever pain and vomiting is usually like a very American like oh that's really common. Maybe this is common there. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, we've gone here. Okay. The hospital is overcrowded. The infection spreads to twenty eight people. Huh. That's a little bit less than... Nope, nope, it's more, I think. I don't know. I'll check the feed. But I'm not sure if that was more or less than my first playthrough. Paramedics are particularly exposed to the virus and are quickly infected as well. Going from one department to another, they spread the diseases to other hospitals. Okay. So, if these facts are specifically t uh, are specific to America... I'm not sure if this is the same here. Maybe Iceland's got their crap together better than we do when it comes to uh, the air health system. I'm um, not putting it past them, but let's see. Okay. Okay, it's spreading. Spreading. We're up to 12,000. Right along all that line. Okay. The infection is spreading fast, and the hospitals are now overcrowded. You're discharged with a prescription for a flu shot. <sighs> if I fainted, technically, 
I'm not presenting with any flu-related symptoms. I guess. But still, that's irritating. Takes at least six weeks for a new batch of medication to reach the pharmacy. Yeah, I've read this, you know. Okay, let's see what pharmacy says. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna read them all. Life, life, ja, apotec, life, og helsa. I like that. It's like life. 14,000 people infected in your area. All medication is sold out before you arrive to life, og helsa. Because of the dangerously increasing number of infected people, the authorities are organizing vaccine distributions. Oh, goodness. Sembioin Alpha Baca? Like Hoperin Lata? Like he. Oh, what is that? What is that accent? Like Husia? Is that even an A? Lugaras Bio. Well, now that you've enjoyed me butchering a bunch of Icelandic names, um, pick the first one. Thousands of frightened people are amassed near the distribution point. There aren't enough vaccines for everyone in <laughs> place of force to intervene as the situation is heating up. Day seven. Ooh, the news is involved this time. News broadcast reports the first official virus-related death state of emergency is declared. Following this announcement, panic takes over the city as people are stockpiling food. So I don't even get the opportunity to pick a, um, a supermarket to raid. That's so un-American. The average household only stock- oh yeah. Um, oh wait. Oh no, I don't get to pick. I don't get to pick. What if who's be most of it now tune is empty at the police tries to take control of the situation. After emptying food supplies, looters start raiding banks for cash. Most ATMs are out of order. This well this happened before. Where are we at? Day nine. Riots are breaking out, police forces are outnumbered in the Hildegard <laughs> area. I'm not even gonna try. The city is no longer safe. You have to escape from Vagar. You decide to take a flight to another international destination. Again, I don't know why I would do this. With more than 8 million passengers a day, planes are the main catalyst for infection. Still don't know why I would do this. But okay. <sighs> so the tactic of staying really close by didn't work. So... Maybe if I go to another terribly uninhabited. Well, no. We've proven that this part of Iceland, Iceland is pretty inhabited. No offense to anyone from Iceland, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, I don't have that many choices. I had so many in America. Stavanger. Sola. Sounds good. Oh, it's not far at all. Look at that. It's just a tiny... Oh, man. <laughs> just a tiny hop, skip, and a jump. And it's all over Europe. It tried. It really did. Ah, 204 deaths. No. No. Flights accelerate the spread of infection. Blah, blah, blah. Martial law established. Official death toll is 26,000. So no matter what we do around day 11, we reach 26,000 dead people. And we have that factoid about the military again, despite us even talking about the military before. Next. Situation is out of control. Law enforcement is completely overwhelmed. Soldiers have been abandoning their positions. That happened before. Oh, now we're in America! Friend of getting killed, people stay at home. No one to maintain the infrastructure, communication, something. I'm pretty sure communication dies out, but they keep flashing that too fast. Day 17, chaos is everywhere. Work absenteeism now exceeds 50%. The first nuclear power plant has stopped running. Darn it. I don't remember where I got to where this ended in America, but... I'm hoping when I go back and check the tape a little farther. 
Ooh, you can see the top of the world. Look at it. It's so pretty. I'm like a hat for the world. <sighs> what about satellite phones? I mean, I guess you have to upkeep the satellites? I have no idea. That energy nor communication system the chain of command is broken. Governments are powerless. I don't know. Oh, Tanzania, not Tanzania. Uh, damn. Ooh, we reached the full 26 days. It's a little better. Okay. So now that you've heard a little bit of my beef with um, this uh, scientific simulator, um, what do you think? I mean, I don't even know anything about the division. Um, I just know that this isn't supported for cities in Alaska, which, bad on you, Google. If it shows up in your search, we should be able to play games there. I don't know. I'd like to think that we'd hold out at least for a full month. We're very close. We're at 26 days. I'd like to think that the world can hold out for a month while we try and figure out what cocktail of drugs we could start doling out to people. But other than that, let me know what you thought. Um, thanks for watching this silly Flash game, and I'll get right back to Undertale. See you all soon!